Hello guys and welcome back to another squad building video. Today we've got the Bundesliga, not the Bundesliga, the Bundesliga. I feel like even though I'm not monetized, I would get demonetized somehow for doing a video just on Bundesliga, if you know what I mean, boys and girls. Right, so we're going to start off with the goalkeeper. I've got three options for you. We've got Hradecki. Hradecki. I don't know how you say his name, but Hradecki. you got Gulax. I hate these names. And you got Castiles. Steals is an obvious choice, but he's above around the 1800 coins mark. Personally, I would go for Hradecki, get the coins in low, start off low. This is supposed to be a budget squad, so we're going to start off with this man here. He's only 750 coins. He's pretty much going to do the job for you. You've got the diving, you've got the reflexes, and you've got an okay positioning. If you can afford the extra coins, go for Castiles. He is going to get you a lot more saves, and if you have a look at the stats, 84, 82, 86, 85. Compare that to Hradecki, you're probably going to enjoy spending the extra coins there. It's going to save you a little bit more. But in terms of the video, we're going to keep it cheap. Now, in the left back position, I've got, again, a couple of options for you. Unfortunately, in the women's side, there wasn't anyone that stood out to me, hence why she's not in this options. Um, but there are still a few women that I would like to put in the team. But prices wise, they're a bit tricky at the moment. The person that I would recommend is Ram. 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 I'm going to call him Ram. He's a little bit harder to sort out. Obviously, the low defensive work rate isn't the best, but in terms of pace, he's got it. Physicality, he's got it. Dribbling, passing, and defensive-wise, we can add something for that. But he's got everything else that I would want. Again, pace is abused in the wings, so we need someone to keep up, and we need someone with a good physicality to keep them outside and not be able to cut in. So Ram is going to be the main guy. If you want someone a little bit more all-rounded, you have got Ben Sabaney. Him with a shadow card could be quite good, but I don't like the medium medium. I want someone with a lot of pace and I don't want to have to use one of the chemistries to focus just on the pace and the dribbling. It would be okay, but then if I did it to someone, put an anchor on someone like Ram, it would just work out a lot easier, especially since he's a little bit better at passing and dribbling in general anyway. He's 800 coins, so he's the better option, trust me there. Now, in the right back position, we've got three options for you. You've got Mazari, Mazraoui. Oh, I, I give up. I actually give up. I can't do these fucking names. We've got Baku, Mazari, Letitia Santos. Obviously, chem wise, she's going to be a little bit harder to do. But if you can get her into the team, she's only a thousand coins. She's got the pace above these two boys. She's got great defensive ability. And obviously, you can add something for the physicality side. But. If you do want to just stick to someone who's a little bit more all-rounded, then you've got Masrui. I don't, again, like the work rate, so hence why my personal pick would have probably been Baku. He's got okay pace, he's got better physicality, and dribbling's okay as well, and I have the high-medium work rate, so I don't want my defensive defenders going too out of positions. I've already got a high-low as well, and he's cheaper, so he'll set you back about 700 coins, so he's going to probably be the best option. If you don't mind and you are solid with your defense, go for Santos, and you do know a way to fit her in with more women's players, which, to be fair, there will, might be a, a few more, then go for her. Now, centre-backs-wise, I've got a good couple of options for you. The thing about the Bundesliga is that they are blessed with quite pacey centre-backs, so you've got Sule, Klosterman, Lacroix, Hinkapi. They're all, apart from Hinkapi, they're all around between 1,000 to 2,000 coins. If you do have the coins, then my personal recommendation would be Sule and Klosterman. Klosterman's always been a little bit cracked. He's got better defensive ability, which to be honest with you, you want someone who can make a good tackle. These 77 physical, defensive and physicality is just not going to cut it. They will make tackles and the ball will bobble. Unfortunately, if you haven't got that trait of that silly little raccoon sign, the ball's going to go everywhere. So, Kosman doesn't have it, but you want the extra numbers in AE1 defense anyway. So, those two would be my options personally. If you don't have the money, then again, go for Hinkapi. The one person I will not cheapen out for is Sule. I would definitely get him in there. He's a powerhouse. 85 physical, 85 defending. And obviously, stats-wise, he does have quite a high sprint speed. Acceleration isn't there, but again, you don't need you don't need pace. And for someone who has, especially a playstyle plus in there as well, which if we show you now, it's got slide tackle, playstyle plus, ping pass, anticipate, which is that raccoon one I was talking about, um, bruiser, and aerial. All that for less than two K coins. Do not hesitate and get him. He's 1,800 coins if you want the specific number at the moment of the, doing this video. 
get him and then you got someone pc alongside him to put him next to who has pretty all rounded stats as well he's 750 coins that is a great combination you've got a good mixture of players there as well and they're all reasonably priced so so far we've spent about 4800 coins on that defense alone and you've got someone who's got a lot of play styles there to help you out in the defense next up we've got cdm now i've got two options for you one of which is a little bit interesting because he can do center back and cdm so it's nice to have again that extra kind of adaptability and positioning for you, your team but the man that i prefer is ko or i don't know how you say his name okay um core He's got pace, defensive, and physicality, and he's only 700 coins. Realistically, there's no debate, but if you do want someone who can go into centre-back at the same time as being CDM, you've got Ito. He's going to be your best option. Now, in the centre midfield, I've got four options for you. So we've got Brandt, who's going to be on the more expensive side. He's around the 1,700 coins mark. You've got Emeka, Kaichi, and Kone. Personally, I would go for Keiichi. Um, she's got the links there with the German, so she'd fit in fine as well. She's got pace, she's got dribbling, she's got passing and shot and a decent amount of physicality. I think physicality-wise, we're looking at about 75 strength, stamina, and jumping as well. Yeah, she's perfect. So, and she's got high, high work rate. Go for her if you want someone a little bit more agile. Height-wise, we might lose, but that's what Cora's for. We're going to have him there next to her, so she's going to be perfectly fine. And if you don't know already, the women players are pretty cracked in this game, so they're just stupidly overpowered. And in terms of dribbling, they're very good, especially when they're above 85 mark. So go for her if you don't want to spend the coins on Brandt, who's going to be a little bit better in terms of passing, dribbling, shot. Pace-wise, he's not there, but again, in the midfield, you don't need too much pace. I just like having her because she's got the dribbling, passing, shot, 81, and she's got a high, high work rate. That's something that I prefer personally. If you do have the coins, then obviously go for Brandt. Uh, my personal preference would be to go for Kaichi because I prefer her high, high work rate. But if you do have the coins and you want someone with a lot more play styles, especially things like Tiki Taka, which he's got play style plus, go for him. He's got a lot to offer. I don't like the pace, but you can always add something to make it a little bit better. He is 1700 coins. But again, for the sake of the video, I'm going to keep the coins as low as I can. Next, on to the central attacking midfield. Now, in the central attacking midfield, I've got four options for you again. You've got Brandt, who can also play central attacking midfield as well as central mid, who was in the options in the previous part. Uh, you got Simmons, Royce, and Muller as well. Personally, I'd go for Simmons. He's got a beautiful high, high work rate. He's got a great pace compared to the other three who are slow as fuck. And then you've got a shot of passing, dribbling, who are in the 70s, but you can add something like a Maestro or a Deadeye or something to improve those abilities. It makes up for more than most of it. That lack of pace, I don't think we can afford it but we want something with a bit more sweaty and a bit more energy. And as far as I'm aware, also, he's quite popular in the game, so he'd be a great option. I believe he's four-star, four-star as well. We'll have a quick look. Yeah, four-star, three-star. That extra bit of skill moves will come in again really handy, especially since everyone's abusing the wings, and he can go up and down as well just as much. So he'd definitely be the best choice. He does cost around 1800 so he is the more expensive of the four, but he's definitely worth it. I think you can put him through some evolutions as well, so that's up to you. Now, in the left wing, I've got three options for you. I've got Brand, Bull, <laughs> Brand and Bull, Bolter. Realistically, he's your only option around 750 coin mark, which is pretty much decent. Uh, there are obviously Simmons, you could probably put in the left wing as well. He has got the secondary position. But realistically, I would personally add a chem style to improve Brand. Uh, she's already got the pace, so she's probably pretty explosive. Uh, you can give her something with passing shot and dribbling like a maestro or something and best of all only cost 750 coins now obviously if you don't care too much about pace and you do want someone with a bit of skill moves four star four star bool is there obviously you can add something like a, a catalyst or something to improve her speed dribbling is okay so she she's she's got 83 dribbling 85 shot 82 pass sorry pace that shot is amazing the pass is good as well so if you do i want someone with more skillful on the ball with extra abilities available to her then you've got food uh personally i just want the pace in the wings i just want to get to the side pass it in as quick as i can don't really need too much trickery to do it so that's why i've chosen her and also she's cheap not really the type of words you should be calling a woman ah uh, this is really awkward
Now, on the right wing, we've got four options for you. Again, all under a thousand, except for Gnabry. He's got a lot of play styles available to him, though. So, but the woman that I would personally go for is Jon Stottetier. She's got great pace, dribbling ability as well. I don't think she's got four star skills, which I'll double check for you now. No, she doesn't. So, if, if you're not too interested in women with just pace, obviously your main man to choose is going to be Gnabry. He'll have the skills, he's got the shot, he's got passing, he's dribbling. But everything there that you would want and he can also play striker and left-sided as well so he's he's a cost to front three which is why his price is a little bit higher around the 1900 mark personally i don't care too much about that in terms of cheap pure power she's going to be the best now in terms of striker i have three options for you to complete the set of uh, women Bundesliga players you've got Anyomi. she's got pace dribbling a good amount of shot good enough and then good amount of physical as well. You got Gnabry, pretty much again, like I said in the previous part, he can play anywhere across the three, but he isn't exactly on the tall side. So as you can see, he's 5'9 as well. So realistically, you're better off just going for Anyomi. She's around 5'7, 5'8, and she'll do the exact same thing. And she has a higher work rate in terms of going up the pitch. Or you can go for an all rounder who's only going to cost you again 850 coins. Shit. He's a bit more physical. You've got very balanced amount of stats and obviously all you have to do is just add something like a hunter to him so if we do that now you can get a good amount of pace there you've got finishing ability and he's six three as well so you can cross in with the women you've got finesse shot power header technical flair acrobatic he's a good option as well so he's a quite a cheap option 850 coins at the moment so personally i think up front yes we've got two very pacey wingers I would personally go for Schick. I just think that we're going to get a little bit more domination in the box there. All right, guys. So this is the team. We've got a nice little squad here. Everyone's got certain stats, especially the defense. I think that's very solid defense. Midfield-wise, I think it's pretty balanced. And again, attacking-wise, we've got two wingers who are super pacey. May not have the skills, but they've got the ability to get the ball to the big man in the middle there. It's only going to cost you about 850 coins, by the way, if I didn't mention. 10K in price. In, on the consoles 12k on the pc but pc prices are a bit weird and um, yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments down below let me know of any upgrades that you would do and let me know who's in your bundesliga team as well make sure you remember to like and subscribe and yeah take it easy